why, pray tell, do I do this to myself? I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, we'll do a funny intro. I didn't wake up this morning. Uh, to clarify, I woke up at 1 a.m. I have no control over my life. I woke up and I thought, oh, we'll do the funny intro and then we can get on with monkey industrial revolution. Something I've been looking forward to all, uh, for a while, given that there's so much monkey based industrial based stuff. But no, no, past me had to make tomorrow me current me's problems. Thank you. Oh, but past me made a really nice base though, huh? Wow. <laughs> you kind of forgotten about this. Wow, this is amazing. Ooh. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of useless stuff has destroyed our farms. Even when I built the walls out of solid freaking bricks, they still find a way to destroy the crops. Sieging zombies are assaulting the colony. Remember, zombies aren't smart enough to do a proper siege, so they'll turn up and then they'll attack immediately afterwards. Uh, whole squad, please. Yeah, like, everybody, everybody line up fast. Oh, I guess now we're going to find out if these walls were as solid as I thought they were. Oh, I mean, it's already looking pretty good. This is nice. That is a lot of zombies. Who the hell is Drocko? Drocko Bink. Ah, <laughs> oh, nothing like a little zombie raid to start the day. Did my manure IEDs not get built? Why not? We don't have any pemmican. That's the limiting factor for manure IEDs. Oh my god, that's a lot. Holy shit. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and say don't hold those open. Oh shit. Um. Immediately start running. Wow, fucking hell. These zombies are too much. They are too much! What the hell? <laughs> okay, we'll let the monkey turrets take out, hopefully, a lot of them. If ever there is a greater sign we need the monkey industrial revolution, it's this right now. We need weapons. We need armor. Oh, come on, monkey turrets. So many of them are out of ammo. The, look, the monkey turrets are so powerful, but they're so expensive to upkeep. We've got to cut down the equivalent of a jungle every day just to keep the damn things fueled. What do we do now? Should we open the gates and fight them on our own terms? No, no, no. I just want you to come out here, crack that open, and then run like the wind. We could retreat into the pods because we have we have palisades now. We did have palisades. Yeah, we've got palisades now. I think we retreat into the anima garden. Go, squad. Oh, they're starting to catch on. We got a couple of extra little monkeys dotted around the base. Don't forget we built loads of these turrets yesterday. Oh, Ligma. Oh, sweet Ligma. They might go for the monkey turrets inside the base, to be fair. As in, they might run monkey turret to monkey turret to go for, like, the ones over here before they before they try and go for our people. Uh, yeah, like... Oh, my God, there's trees in the way. Fucking hell. Okay, bunch up around the embrasures. Bunch up around the embrasures. Weasel, get down here. Oh, Weasel, Weasel, get... <laughs> Clicking on a tree, wondering why Weasel was not getting down there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very nice. A great bait. Actually superb bait. And they are flooding all over the place. Shit. Enormous brain size. Actually enormous brain width. Uh, you hop over there. Shoot who you can. Let's get you up here. Then we've just got to keep following around the base. Just, just line up on the embrasures opposite to where they're going to go. Weasel come up here. The worst case scenario is if they blow up and... Uh, take the walls out with them. Then, then we got some real problems. Because <laughs> then we're trapped in there with them. Is that it? That's kind of the last group. Oh! Well, that's tomorrow's problem. Uh, there's the last, last little bit over here. The monkey turrets might just pull this one off for us. Bait out the last few. Bait out the last few. This was amazing. What a city. We're like so well defended now. Oh, donkey one, I'm so sorry. Is it over? I think it's over. Let's go search and destroy quickly. See if anybody is... Okay, there's a couple more. Wait, where are you? Hey? Oh. <laughs> You're right. Is everything okay? You know what? I'm going to say don't worry about that one. Let's fight the fire. Oh! Wait, Elephant 8 died of the fucking plague? Rain. That is rain, right? The drizzle. Well, okay. You know what? That's good enough. Some of this is roofed over, so it won't put out all of it, but that's fine. And Monkey City lives to fight another day. We didn't have to cower in our pods. We didn't. It was, it was non-stop monkey versus zombie action. That was amazing. We could, this is obviously heretical, I never would. We could pick up the zombies, cure their scarier, and recruit them. I'm not going to do that, but we could. <laughs> Weasel is going ape. He will smash up random furniture items and structures. Oh, Weasel. Why are you going ape? What did that doormat ever do to you? Oh, you shit. So yesterday we began the start of the potassium-based power grid. Your banana energy piped into every machine in this colony. And now we, now we just need some machines to do something with that. What if... 
We capture zombies and use them for manual labor? Oh. <laughs> because it's occurred to me. We could really shorn of the dead this. We could capture the zombies. And we could send them off to, say, mining settlements or something like that. Oh, that genuinely could work. That could work. We just we could just declaw them and de-teeth them. You know, like uh, keeping a cat. We give them a pickaxe and we pay them in brains. Or we pay them in uh, bananas. Vegetarian zombies. And then we could set up a faction. Would King Brutus do that? I mean, you could look at it as uh, keeping horrible monsters for your own benefit and your own wealth. Or we could put a bit of a PR spin on it and we could say King Brutus is giving opportunities to the, to the disadvantaged. It's genius. We'll put it to a vote on Monkey Council. I think we have a leader speech on behalf of King Brutus, but King Brutus gives a leader speech, and depending on the reaction to that, if it's a legendary leader speech, if it's well-received, zombie cities, or at least zombie manual labor settlements, are all, all a go. They're all above board. Now, you also need to bear in mind that the items we get back from the settlements depend on the health of the people we're sending over there of course we'll need to add buildings to the settlements to keep control of the zombies putting 50 zombies in a settlement and expecting them to send stuff our way probably isn't going to work it'll increase the unrest and the unhappiness throughout all of monkey kingdoms etc etc because we have a bunch of zombies kicking around and because they're all horribly injured and also zombies they're probably not going to be the best workers but if we were to take i don't know let's say 11 zombies and however many skeletons have survived so like we're taking 19 of the undead that's going to be the equivalent of at least a few regular healthy people all we need to do is build some sort of like undead containment slash shipping area <laughs> <laughs> the more I say this out loud, the worse it gets. Well, before we start building cages, let's put it to a vote. Let's put it to a vote. Let's see if they're actually okay with it. They might be horrified at the idea of the people that have turned up at their base and, you know, savaged their people and burn it down multiple times. They might be horrified at the idea of keeping them for profit. All right, King Brutus, let's see if you're, quite frankly, horrible idea is well received by Monkey Council. Brutus offered thoughts on satisfaction through suffering. Wow, you're really going hard on this one. He discussed the terrible intellectual skills of the colony's enemies. <laughs> Me? <laughs> I think I'm the biggest enemy of the colony. He talked about the colony's impressive potential and how that potential could be even greater. If only we avoided the moles. That's right, our greatest foes. And who hates moles the most? It is the undead people. We need archaeologists and who better to examine the ground than people that came from the ground zombies themselves employed by king brutus life is like tic-tac-toe it's all noughts and crosses and there's you know the best cross it's the one above a grave where we are gonna resurrect the zombies and put them to work because we need peanuts god damn it we need some peanuts in this colony oh oh i don't think they went for it uninspiring it was uninspiring Droning and lacking any sense of passion. Well, that's put an end to that one. Um. Shit. What were you thinking, Brutus? You fucking idiot. What, did you, what the hell was coming through his mind? We're gonna have to build a zombie city and have them mine for us. What a moron. What an idiot of a man. Oh, of interest, what do these turrets drop? Is that what I think it is? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That is mighty big brain from the creator of the monkey turret mod. Primitive turrets mod creator is, uh, that's the best thing I've, I've, maybe, I've maybe ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get to plant some more resource trees then, huh? I suppose if you get about zombie labor, we'll just have to do it. We'll have to do manual labor. The monkeys are going to have to do the labor. We have a field of steel trees. And we have the field of very questionable component trees as well. I guess we will throw down, uh, I mean, plasteel trees. Of course, we're going to need that if we plan on building some better armor and weapons. You're building masterwork what now? A masterwork doormat. You're a fucking masterwork doormat, Dr. Zayas. These two growing zones are kind of cut in half by the river. I don't think we'll need that much uranium, to be fair. Although we'll probably need even less steel. What are we going to do with that? Trade with people? I don't think so. Let's throw down... Oh, yeah. Silver tree is pretty difficult to grow. Let's put down uranium over here because I think we need that more than we'll need for silver. So the bigger area can have that one. It's going to look amazing if we've got, like, the top quadrant of the outer section of the base filled entirely with agriculture. I mean, that was the point. I think I said that, like, episode two. Maybe we should grow more steel. 
Because I think we're probably going to need a hell of a lot. And this is the only way we can actually get steel. And trees aren't exactly the best way to get steel. <laughs> Historically, not the best idea. Uh, alternatively, we could grow more bananas. Because if our whole power grid is banana based. What if we have the entire outer bottom section for bananas? And we focus these on just the resources? Divide them up and then we can change them depending on the resources that we do or don't need. That better not be another raid. What the hell was that about? Don't do that to me again. Now, in theory, we're not going to need that many component trees. We could just grow more steel trees, because I'm sure it's more efficient to grow steel and turn it into components than it is the other way around. Otherwise, that doesn't make any sense. That's very silly. Um, you know what we do need? For delicious monkey dessert, we need cocoa trees. And then this bit, to be fair, we could turn into more pods. We could turn that into maybe some crafting. That might be a terrible idea, because we haven't exactly got much of a crafting room, have we? We've got a single banana using up a very small amount. <laughs> what a horrible base. We are going to need monkey factories. So if we take the cotton, and we take the bananas, and we take the smoke leaf, we put it over here. That could be pretty good. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. You know what? It's not that bad. This area is a bit messily divided, but that's because we already had this thing, this thing here that ruins it all. Let's set it all to smart. We can do that in real life. We'll say no petty jobs because there's a lot of jobs to do. And then I think we'll just get rid of these, these zones entirely. Because I've replaced them out here, right? We've got the cotton, we've got the smoke leaf. So this area can go. This we're going to turn into big monkey industry. I, th I think it's a necessary evil. Because we're not going to fit a fabrication bench, a machining bench, a tailor bench, and everything else in here. Air conditioning is done. That was our big problem. Our bananas are now safe. And they are, they are fine. We're never going to lose any more. Some genius in the comment section said, well, if you put bananas in the fridge, they they're not, they're not in the fridge though, are they? They're in a freezer. They're in a freezer, okay? <laughs> the question is, what do we want next? Is there any other potassium? Potassium. Uh, banana power. Charcoal has some potassium in it. Does it? But No, it does not. We've been lied to. Uh, let's type in monkey. Anything else for monkey? Monkey spirit. <laughs> That's frightening. Uh, banana gastronomy. Banana curing. Banana power. Intermediate banana weapons. I think we've got all of the banana-based stuff, too. Uh, liquor brewing. Mixology. Oh. Well, hang on a second. Could we go for nicer furnitures or nicer clothes or nicer weapons? Yes, we could. We could also go for banana alcohol. Oh, even now, we've still got 620 watts, even though we're only using a single potassium power generator, and we're only going to be using that until these trees are grown. Why don't we... I've already started on it. Why don't we throw down a lovely little area to keep our banana seer nice and frozen and not waste any more? Because we haven't got any steel. That's a simple answer. Shit. It was a good idea. <laughs> Until it wasn't. <laughs> is this my legacy? Psycho is going ape. He's having a psychotic episode. Oh, look at this room, Psycho. Okay, okay, we're getting a little closer to some sort of monkey crafting area. It turns out that... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is like the first Manhunter pack we've ever had that aren't uh, tiny little angry dogs. In fact, it's just a lot of very large angry rhinoceroses. Nine of them. Z. Z's spirit has broken. She has decided that her beliefs no longer with super genetics make any sense. She now believes in the angling creed. She has turned from scientist to fisher lady. Brilliant. Why are they breaking down? What the fuck's wrong with Bucky? Pounding hangover. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. Oh, that'll be the rhinos then. This should be easy because we're focusing all that firepower on a single body. Well, until they start bunching up, at which point we'll have some bigger problems. Uh, oh, God. Oh, they're so bitey. Although the rhinos probably aren't going to bite now that I think about it. There you go. They Torso, arm. Arm? Rhinos haven't got arms. What the fuck? <laughs> Journey to the... Journey to the ancient vault. And gold ore. A journey to the ancient vault, as in one of the superpower vaults. Superpowered Brutus? What if we take the genetic experiments that made Brutus sentient in the first place and take it even further? It becomes a big brain monkey with big superpowers. Superpowered apes versus zombies? Ah, <laughs> oh, Halloween. No, oh, Halloween. Oh, again. We were, we were almost done. We were almost done. This is where all the crafting's gonna go at some stage. Maybe we'll move the uh, stop hole over here because it's a bigger banana. And everybody knows the bigger the banana, the more useful that banana is. I don't know what we'll do with this area. We can turn it into a big recreation area or something like that. We'll wait and see. Uh, Manhunter pack of Somali cats. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello. Um, wow, that looks like a lot. Oh my god, 76! Don't bear in mind, 
the, the bites, the bites are what turn our people into zombies. In fact, our people so far have only been turned into zombies from bites from tiny, cute little animals. The zombies themselves like to punch, which is very annoying. <laughs> the zombies are supposed to turn other people into zombies. Instead, they just punch. Shit. Um, we could just lock the door. We'll just bait them over and just keep shutting the gate. In fact, I'm going to do that, I think. Let's let them get a little closer first, then we'll blow them to pieces. Oh, they're getting all lost in the jungle. Oh, poor kitty. Oh, horrible zombie virus riddled kitty. Oh, God. Well, actually, a lot half of them have come down, but half of them are just hanging around. I wonder why. Okay, here they come. We just need to get them close and then back off and lock the door. Because, I mean, what the hell are they going to do at that point? They're going to go, like, like, move away. Because they won't attack the... Oh, careful. Oh... Uh... They're not gonna attack the doors. Oh, Lars! <laughs> the sight of 76 zombie plague ridden cats has given the poor guy a heart attack. Shit, go lie down, Lars. Get out of here. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Death by cat, but not in the way you think. Shit, I mean, they are slowly heading over here. They'll get as close as they can, because that's just how manhunter packs work. The real problem is if we accidentally put a hole in the fence, that would do us in. Okay, psycho, stand. Bro, Dr. Zayas couldn't even get him to the hospital in time. Oh my god, he died! <laughs> Oh my god, the sight of 76 zombie-ridden cats was too much for Lars. <laughs> he just had to, his poor heart couldn't take it. Oh my god, oh, I've got tears in my eyes. Might be the, the, the stupidest death I'm ever going to have in Rimworld. It doesn't get any worse than that, does it? Holy shit. All right, so I go back off. There you go, let's see, we baited them over again. Shoot them in their little cat brains. <laughs> Do it for Lars. Vengeance for poor Lars. The man might have had a deep-seated cat phobia. Oh, God, Bucky's broken down because he's ravenously hungry. Bucky, you were locked in the kitchen for your own safety, you prick. Right, here come the last cats. Honestly, we probably don't need to shut the door, but I'll play it carefully. Last thing we want is another person dying to a, a very silly raid. One more cat out there. Let's go search and destroy. Let's make sure we're, we're entirely 100% safe. Where has he gone? Where are you, little shit? Oh, we got some free sheep. I love sheep. Oh, it's in the jungle. Shoot it in the heart. Cane, 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 cane. Good grief. Good grief indeed. Don't get bitten. Was that, was that a lethal shot to the tail? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, still alive. Please, not another. Not like this. Not like this. Just kill the fucking cat. It's in there somewhere. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Oh, Lars. <laughs> Man had a horrible cat phobia. He probably wasn't too bothered by the zombies, but the second he saw that coming, it was too late. Oh, shit. And then we got free sheep. We traded Lars for a bunch of free sheep. Great. I guess we could trip down a pen marker out here and just have the sheep hanging out. Uh, fuck it. Why not? I mean, that's, that's a really nice animal pen. Another empty vault. Wow. That's another one. We can't risk... Oh, could we risk going out? Oh god, everybody's breaking down. We need more luxuries. We need more luxuries. We need to keep these people happy. We need to uh, we need to sort this mood out because it's a real problem. Why is everybody so sad all the time? Colonist died. That's to be expected. Supreme expectations. I don't know why. Soaking wet. Looks change desired. Okay, well, looks change desired. We can solve pretty easy. I hate giving them a styling station. It never ends well. Ah oh, shit. Where are we gonna put it? I mean, we'll turn this area into like a nice into into some sort of. Uh, that's what we can do with it. The bar, the fermenting. We could turn this into like monkey, uh, uh, some sort of monkey tiki bar. This can be their their rest and relaxation part of the base. It's that that will solve their mood nicely. I like that idea. I think our greatest heroes deserve. They deserve something better than just being, than just getting the sky burial. I want to build some sort of tomb for them. I think they deserve it, but I don't really know where to build it. We could set, like one. We could set like this area to be the. The great ape tomb for all of our, our lost warriors. I mean, the sky burial makes sense from like a, you know, like a health perspective. We're going to burn the bodies so they don't come back as zombies. But if we bury them in a heavy enough coffin, 
Oh, you didn't have zombie virus anyway. Lars is fine. Ah, a little bit of balance here in Monkey City. Twin bananas of industry and storage have come back and have replaced the shitty old twin bananas of industry and storage, which were terrible. <laughs> Just like no room. Why are you still working there? Brutus, I appreciate it, man, but good God. And now we've not only got for Monkey City a uh, workroom that's slightly larger, but still probably not large enough. We'll cross that hurdle when we get there. But I've also built two smaller little sections here. Two little, two little oranges to store our stuff that's perishable. So all of this, I mean, there's no, look, we can't have massive amounts of farms like we've got right now unless we've got somewhere to store all of the stuff that's going to eventually go off, right? And we had just enough steel. Oh, no, we've got a little bit more still. We've got, we've got a fair amount more just to build those coolers. So I do have a cooler on each of those. We did have, oh my god, Kane and Weasel's marriage. Disgusting. That's what we need. We need like a big old social area. Where they can all gather around, they can all be a little happier. And instead, they cannot have marriages inside people's bedrooms. It's like quality's bedroom. <laughs> it's hot, they're hotboxing it whether you like it or not, my friend. Wow, what a shit marriage. There's not enough room for everybody, so Ligma has to get up on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Nice and personal. Just everybody crowding around you. The smell in this room must be actually terrible. Happy day. Happy day. What? That's so nice. That's really going to help out the moods a little bit because oh, I don't know what I can do. I just don't know what I can do. I should be sleeping with a lover or a spouse. Okay. Well, here's an idea. Sleep with your lover or spouse. No human representative. Oh, this is weird. We could have Weasel be the human representative. The weird part zombie person who we've cured. I quite like it, I suppose. Sure. Uh, Weasel, Weasel, Weasel. What's Weasel's busy? Weasel, what are you doing? Are oh, you still attending the marriage ceremony? Sorry, yeah, carry on. Sorry, my bad. Wouldn't want to interrupt this uh, otherwise stunning party. Quality is trying to sleep while these two are partying it up at 9 p.m. <laughs> and now that you've finished with your marriage, you're getting, uh, you're getting a promotion. You're getting more work. You are going to be... Human representative, because who knows more about the genes and the secrets humanity unleashed than the person who was directly affected by it. A very serious soundtrack. Weasel talked about his desire to serve the community, and isn't that what this is all about? We're going to serve the community that is the brand new ape planet. But because we have the advanced banana weapons, we've already got machining tables, which I guess we'll, we'll throw down. I might have to move these over very slightly. I'm taking up loads of room. We've got an electric art bench. Six components. I'd rather not waste components till we can build more. What is used for those electric tailor bench? Finally give our people actual clothes. Are uh, you good? Huh. <laughs> Blank checks trying to shave off all their monkey fur. This is going to look like a people. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. You've been cursed. Hey, why, are you, why are you trying to shave yourself, monkey? Ah, oh, the fuck the rhino. The monkeys can deal with the rhinos. Uh, yeah, like that's not good though. That's a that's a real problem. Um, I've changed my mind. We're not gonna ha we're not gonna have a styling station anymore. We're not doing that. Doctor Zayas, come deal with this. So now that we have a few more crafting luxuries, uh, we don't have the power. Oh, <laughs> I don't think we will ever have the power in hindsight. Well, now that in theory we we have some crafting luxuries, I think we've got to come up with some rules for what weapons and what armor our people and our monkeys are allowed to use. And honestly, I think the very obvious rule is they only use banana-based weapons or any weapons that have a banana style to them, right? There's also something called a banana boom bow. Uh, a seemingly primitive bow composed of fragile-looking bananas tied together. Any normal, reasonable individual would say that this terrible weapon would downgrade from a standard wooden bow. And they'd be right. But with banana technology, even downgrades or upgrades, while this bow is slower to knock and draw than other bows, it can fire potassium-enriched explosive arrows. Oh, good. They have a chance to leave behind banana peel, creating more problems for your enemies besides having an explosion rend their body to shreds. That makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, how do we get potassium barrels? 75 out of banana bricks, two bananas. <laughs> two bananas. Four components. We could make a single banana bow. We just need the potassium barrels. Can I just drain it from the... Extract potassium. Oh. And then we just send... Uh, I was saying King Brutus. That's his precious potassium. Oh my god. It's that easy. I want to build another potassium power generator. Ideally, I want to build another battery, too. We've got another shredder that I've disconnected from the grid. It's connected up to a piece of cable that I've specifically taken away because you can't, we can't toggle the power on it. How many components we got, though? 110. 110? None of our trees grew, though, did they? Definitely not. I guess it was just from all the... Well, maybe, they, maybe some of them actually did. Oh, yeah, look, the first harvest is in. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot of components. <laughs> that's maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's a slow way to get resources uh, until you turn a good half the map into exclusively growing trees very safely. Yeah, yeah, no, that is a that is a bit of a problem. Maybe we say fuck it. Maybe we say we've earned our trees. Because we, we had to prepare the ground, prepare all this Adenana, build these bricks out, measure it all. Maybe King Brutus deserves a mighty domain to rule over. Ah, and speaking of which, we've got ourselves a lovely brand new uh, crematorium. So we stop piling up the bodies in the middle. I mean, it's good because they resurrect and then they get shot right away. But also, I mean, it's still a bunch of dead bodies. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> there you go. I think you can get to that one because it's on the diagonal. There you go. Burn. Uh, honestly, just cremate all the corpses. Our people are basically vegetarian, so let's just get rid of the lot. Um, burn all tainted apparel as well. That's fine by me. Just don't allow colonist corpses. Everything else can go up in flames as far as I'm concerned. Let's put everybody on mortuary counts as cremation, right? Strip corpses, extract skulls, do cremation mills, do bills at campfire. There you go. We're going to max that out. I can't deny. Moods are certainly looking a little bit better now. Let's take Ligma. <laughs> it's terminal. Be careful. Uh, my friend Lars died. My fiance Lars died. Yeah, I can't really do much about that one. Slept in the cold. Now that one I can do something about. Well, why not? Let's get the whole thing online then. Why the hell not? We've got enough steel. We've got more than enough components of this. Actually, no, we don't have enough steel. Why are the component trees giving so much? Oh, the steel trees are pretty generous too. Wow. This is great. <laughs> All that hard work over the past few days has been absolutely worth it. <laughs> what if we make... Hear me out here. Sorry, I fixed the power, but everything's online now. What if we make everybody a banana boom bow? Is that too much? Nah. <laughs> what if we make everybody an ammo pack to go with their banana boom bow? Oh, look, we got simian armor, simian helmets. Oh, this is gross. Can, can, uh, can, I presume humans can wear simian helmets. It'd be very weird if they couldn't. Uh, we can make it out of, what the, dragon scale? What the hell have we got that adds dragon scale? Either way, Plasteel, I think, would be, would be pretty good. Pretty massive upgrade compared to, um, <laughs> like, cloth tribal wear. We are jumping in both feet first into this industrial revolution. Get him, Brutus. What are you working on there? Ammo pack. What about the banana boombo? What would what, you do with the potassium barrels? Don't misplace those. Good lord. Have to extract so much bloody potassium from the network. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be like a full-time job for someone. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. Oh, this is truly a terrible idea. Weezer, where are you taking that? Where is it? Banana Boombo. Banana. Oh, it looks amazing. Weasel, take the Banana Boombo. Show me how it works. We need, we need something. Can we just fire it at the floor? I presume so, given that it's explosive. We absolutely can. Okay, stand here. Take aim. Is this just going to be the equivalent of giving our people 10 grenade launchers? Oh, I like that a lot. Banana peel. Banana peel strategically placed on the ground. Uh, not so much. While it does a little damage on its own, it causes enemies to slip and slide. Holy shit. Imagine if we cover the entrance in that. Oh, I like this. This could work very, very well. Now, bear in mind, they're much slower, fast. Much slower, faster. What? <laughs> Bear in mind, they're much slower firing than, uh, the, you know, the SMGs, whatever else we're going to swap out here. That will, as a result, directly lower the amount of headshots we're going to get. I feel like a headshot with a grenade launcher is probably the same effect as shooting anywhere else with a grenade launcher. Should have planted more plasteel trees if we're making a full armor set out of it. Because we, ba we barely made a thousand plasteel from this grove here. What have we got growing down here? This is silver? Honestly? Get rid of it. Let's expand the plastic grove out. Mmm! Drain that tasty banana juice! <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I hate this game. How much did we need again? We were making like 10 of them, right? Let's just drain the rest of it out. Sod it. Why not? Give me that. Hand it over. Bill complete. Make banana boom bow. <laughs> oh! Wow, that's weird. Now we have to do is crack out a few of these Plasteel Simeon... Hello? A barber named Jarvis! Jarvis, hello, we need a barber. Is this what Blank Check was doing earlier? Oh, you're terrible. Oh no, there was no one there. We couldn't find them in the dense trees. <laughs> Look at the troops of Monkey Army. Oh, that's amazing. 
That's so good. Oh, we also have a bunch of spare banana boombos as well, because I set that to do until X. Sorry, do X times, not do until X. So both benches did like eight bows. So I ended up draining way more potassium from the network than we need. I don't know what we can do with the potassium. Whether we can plug it back into the network, transfer it. No, that won't help. That won't help at all. And we've just got a bunch of very flammable potassium kicking around. <laughs> um... Maybe we can use it to fuel stuff later on. I hope so. Do you have any sort of automated weapon at all? No. I mean, I guess this is the best thing we can craft then until we can get that. When we get headshots against the zombies, and because of the way Vrimmel works with, with, with weapon damage is just done by basically cells where they're stood, right? A higher, the, the, the higher the fire rate on the weapon, the more chance we've got of blowing the zombies' heads clean off. So having a bunch of bows <laughs> is pretty terrible. That's a pretty awful idea. Um, We know that the assault rifle has a banana version. Genetic mech hybridization. That's too far. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit. Uh, assault rifle. Let's just go assault precision rifling. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Where, where is that? Right there. We need the multi-analyzer. I'll take gas operation. That's all good. Well, I, think, I think the base looks great. I'm really, really happy with the base. I think having everything monkey themed does definitely put a limitation on what we can do with regards to the industrial era. Uh, because I don't know many monkeys that are in the industrial era. I think tomorrow we start work on the monkey empire. We start work on Bruce's monkey empire. We'll, we'll, we've got to build a military settlement first things first, right? And start wiping out all those undead places. Maybe we capture it and we resettle it with monkey people. Because where all the massive zombies are, it's got to be where all the, all, the, all the people lived originally, right? Ooh, I like that idea. What if we don't build any settlements besides one military settlement and we can only capture other places? We can never build fresh ones. That's good. I quite like that. But not as much as I like this very fetching hat and bow combination. And you know what else? Not as much as I like... That's right, the executive producer patrons. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here today. It's a weird series. I don't really know where I'm going with it. I think we've got to go for monkey superpowers. That's the only logical outcome I can see here. It's been a lot, I, in fact, I don't think we've touched really the superpowers since the original release of Ancients. I think so. I'm not sure. It's been all kind of sidecasting for a while, hasn't it? So it'd be nice to go to... And I mean, it makes perfect sense that a series about uh, ascended intelligence apes would have genetic engineering going on. So you know what? Maybe I'll commit to that idea. Superpowered Brutus, for better or worse. Thank you, of course, to the patrons. Patrons, I, I, I have got a Patreon video to upload at some stage. But I have been so busy recently, as I have been busy for the past however many goddamn months now. Um, real life situations have taken a strange turn. It's the same situation that's been going on for months now. Um, but it's gone weird. Uh, and I can talk more about that when all the legal issues surrounding that have been resolved. Until then, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Thank you. Uh, to Arnie Rass, Feather Blacker, Commander Crin, Isolated Entropy, Scapegoat, Floor 1235, Huntsman, APJ, Little Bicky, Kerbo Supreme, Irish Badger, Lyndon the Dragon, Naughty Pickers, Holiday C, Taff, Matthew Capon, David Gertman, Could Be Sleep, The RB Stream, Zun, Arcane, Jellyfish, Urban Cohort, Triquatrol. Wow, that's hard to say. David A. Reinhardt, Constable, Corvus, Nix, Valoria, the White Fox God, Gigi, Slayer, Tiny Magnus, Deathcore Hippie, Biv, Unwise Planes, Thought Experiment, Will, O Trash Panda, Shadow 1317, Sign Mortar, Mako, and Sir Boppathed as well. For that support, the executive producer tears over on Patreon. Hey, thanks. Thanks for making Monkey Series possible. We're going to take Monkey Series in weird ways. Because honestly, I think I'm, I'm done with the base building at this point. We really, literally cannot expand it much further out for what we've done. So now we've got to go into the world itself. Thank you to Bo 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 Bo, Thane, Dan does a thing, Laneth, Rashad810, Lol the Cool, Epic Calamar, Duke Nukem64, Neko, Juniper Flavored Sober, Bubonic Ghoul, Deer Muid, Blood for the Blood God, Scorpio, Artie, Party, Dave, Patman the Man Pat, Corzong, Necrosense, James Myers, Ben Ice Cream, David Schwartz, Biggie Gamer, Lawaness, Trash Panda Paladin, Jacob, Acker, and Craze Monkey. 231 as well. Join me tomorrow for monkey superpowers. I'm committing to the idea. I'm sorry. I don't care if people don't like it. I want monkey superpowers.